Ephesians 5 and 22 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also so loved the church. What we see is two dynamics and two issues going on with dating right now. What we see is women who are less submissive, and what we see is men who are not capable of leading, or who women view as incapable of leading. So what happens is, when you're dating these women, when you're dating these men, when you're going on dates, you're seeing that person as you would see them as a husband or as a wife right and so a woman is looking at you so men listen to this women are looking at you when you're going on dates they're looking at you as that husband to be so they're asking okay if I'm supposed to submit to this man because if I want to live by biblical principles I'm supposed to submit to this man he's supposed to be the head of the house but what is he giving me to submit to is he showing me that he can lead us financially that he can lead us spiritually that he can lead us in our fitness and in our health is he showing me these things so then the question question comes to men and, and the, the, the command, the charge comes to men, it's this, you have to show her that you can lead her. She has to be able to trust you in order to submit. You have to show her these things throughout the dating process because you cannot just snap your finger and automatically become a husband. You become a husband and you become a wife before you walk down an aisle, before that official ceremony. But women, on the other hand, you too have work to do. Because if you're living by these biblical principles and it says your husband is the head of the household, you are to submit yourself to him, you have to give a man the submissive qualities that he wants. Men don't want alpha women, men don't want women who are combative, men who don't want women who are arguing with them all the time. That's not attractive, it's not cute. Generally, men don't want that. And so we see a disconnect as women have become more independent in the world, as wages have increased, they become more entrepreneurial minded, we see more confidence, we see more boldness, we see less submissiveness. But then as time has went on, we see men, we see a lot of beta males out here, right? We see men who are not capable or who don't believe that they can lead. And so now you have a woman who's not submitting to you because you're not leading her in the right way. And so throughout that dating process, if we're grooming ourselves to be wives, if we're grooming ourselves to be husbands, we have to understand that men, we have to show the ladies that we can lead them, that they can trust us, that we can protect them, that we will help them get closer to Christ, that we will lead them in the right direction. But women, you also have to show the men that you are capable of being submissive, that you're capable of being feminine, that you're capable of showing these things so that we can know, okay, she trusts me throughout this whole process. Ephesians 5, verses 22 through 25. Read it, embrace it, study it.